What's up guys, it's Leon here um, from Zarps Metal Detecting South Africa. Uh, back with another episode with some tips, tricks uh, and techniques on how I approach metal detecting. In this episode I'd like to talk specifically about um, digging less iron. Um, but also knowing why it's so important to listen for those iron targets. And knowing when your machine is telling you that it's iron targets. Um, so I got a really good response with the previous video that we did where I shared some techniques and tips on coin shooting um, and digging less bottle caps. So before we get stuck into it, um, if you haven't seen that video, uh, click the link above. Um, it will take you to that video. And um, you know, if you like this video, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so let's go through my settings real quick. Um, so have a start at my gain. Gain is at 89. I'm in three tone, by the way. My discrimination is at 14. My notch is at 15. And then, as you can see over here, I notch everything from 96 up until 99. I notch out. My notch volume that I want you to take note of now is at zero. So that means all the tones that are, or all the target IDs that have been notched out, um, will have a zero volume. You will not hear those target IDs. Um, my tone, here you can see, is 15. 40 and 70 um, tone volume is at full and then tone break is at 25 and 60 I set 0 frequency 14 and then the volume all these guys standard all right so um, I showed you well, I'm going to show you now a little bit of a close-up of the two targets that I've got down there. So on the left, I've got um, a piece of iron sheet, very thin piece of um, sheet um, that you can, well, we normally find them as corrugated sheeting. Um, very annoying because they do come up as very good targets. And then on the right-hand side, I've got a piece of nice and thick um, 25 or 30 by, I think probably about 3 or 4 mil flat bar. Um, so also a very similar type of iron that we pick up. So large iron and then very small, thin, fine piece of iron. So what I want to show you now is my settings as you saw it. Um, I've got my notch volume at zero. So everything iron we should not or probably won't hear. Um, and that's the point. This is what a lot of guys do. This is why I want to show you it's so important that you actually hear the iron. So I'm going to go over these two targets um, and I want to show you. They might be a bit choppy. Um, but I want to show you, I'm going to start on the iron sheet um, and take a listen to this. Right, so, start off, it's a nice little high beep, this will get your attention. Bit choppy over here. So this would make you stop, actually go back, move around the target, and oh, there's a sweet spot. So right there, hopefully you can actually see my screen. 88, 89, 87, 90, move back, dies off, that's a good, that's a good target signal, um, that is something that you would dig, this is something that guys do dig, um, but we're not hearing the iron because the notch volume is down, um, so I'm going to do the, the piece of flat bar, so I'm lifting my quill, 60, 70, move around, there it disappears, so there it would kind of say something's up, they have got 50s, 60s, I mean if I get something in the 50s, low 60s like that, I dig it because it's, um, it's normally a button, could be a copper coin, um, it could be anything. I've even found small silver in the low 60s. Um, so the whole point of what I'm trying to make is uh, <laughs> iron can still give you those target IDs. Um, if your notch volume is down, if you've cancelled out your iron, um, you might be getting these type of signals still and digging unnecessary holes. And the whole point is I want to show you why it's important that you hear the iron um, so that you stop digging... Um, so many holes and starting quality signals so specifically if you do not want to dig iron yes there's a lot of guys that go for for iron i also go for iron every now and again especially if you're looking for really relics um but the point of this video is i want to show you 
um, how to avoid that. So let's go into my settings quickly and I want to bump up the notch volume um, and then we do this again. Right, so let's go into our settings. I'm already buying notch volume. It's on zero. Let's bump it up to five. Okay, so what is that going to do? Now, everything that has been notched out on our, on our machine, we're still going to hear at the same volume that uh, all of our other target IDs that we haven't notched out, um, we will hear. Right? So, I know it's going to be kind of pointless if we've notched out those, those target IDs, but I just want to show you, if we go over these two targets, what I want you to hear. So, let's, let's do that. Right, so let's go over this piece of sheet. Yeah, we've got that tone. 87, 88, 89, 90. Now check if I move around to the left. You hear that? That's our iron signal. A coin or a good target will not, will not give you that iron tone. That is why I want you to hear and listen for the iron. Right over there. So as you move around the target, that's what you want to pick up. So have a listen to this flat bar. Here's a good tone. Move around. You hear that? There we are. You hear that iron? That is what tells you that that is an iron target and you do not want to dig it. Um, quick tip as well, when I'm digging large iron, as soon as something overloads, obviously that's an obvious sign, but pick up your coil. If you're still picking up that, that good 80s, 90s signal, 20, 30 centimeters above the ground, um, that's going to be a large piece of iron. Um, and that just tells you, well, you need to make the decision whether or not you want to dig it. Okay, right guys, so how do I set up my, my machine? Um, it depends on where I am. If I go to a new area that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to pick up or what I'm going to find, especially if I'm looking for um, relics and that type of thing, I would go to an area, I'd, my go-to setting would always be three-tone, um, and I'd set it up like this. So 89 to give me some fast recovery, um, exactly like I, I have, but my notch volume, I drop down to zero, okay? Um, then I go out, I go zigzag, I do, I crosswalk the area, I try and find targets, I dig the, the, the targets that I find, try to give myself some clues on the age of the area and, you know, have I actually stumbled uh, upon an area where I want to dig. So let's say, for instance, I have now decided and seen, okay, um, this is a place that I want to be, there's good targets, um, it's a good area, I still keep it in three tone. Right, so with my notch uh, volume down, when I hit the target like this, that's pretty solid. I always go around. When I start hitting those choppy bits, it's quick. I hit settings, it's already on my notch volume. I bump it up, up to three, go out, go over the target again. There we are. Then I know, right, I've hit iron. Okay, go down, no problem, carry on. That's what I do. Um, if I hit those targets, if I'm not sure, then I decide, do I still want to dig it? Do I take the chance? Don't I want to take the chance? If I know I'm in a, an iron patch, then of course you don't, don't waste your time. Don't dig those, those targets. If you're not going for iron, you know that you can avoid them. The same thing with the large iron. Um, I lift up my coil. I know if it's a, if it's a large, um, target, uh, if it's very deep, shallow, um, and then I set my settings that way. Um, if I'm in an area where I've scoped out, I know that it's relevant in age um, and I've found some, some good stuff there before, targets are getting few and far between, I then hit four tone. Four tone is a bit deeper, it's a little bit more chatty. Um, I bump up my gain, but I do, I'll do a separate video on, on four tone. But that's what I do. My go-to always is um, three tone. So I started three tone. As I get the targets, I check whether it's iron or not, um, decide whether I dig it. Um, I found that just using this small little simple technique, um, I dig, jeez, half um, the amount of holes that I used to dig. And literally 60-70% of the time, I'm digging at half what the other guys are, but 80 times more quality 
um, signals. And, you know, the, the Amphibio is a, is a really good machine. It's a really good machine. It's not foolproof. No machine is foolproof. Um, so, yeah, I hope, uh, yeah, I know the guys from, from Nocta Macro have good, done a, a really, really good job. Um, but you need to know how to use the machine, how to use the settings. I use multiple settings. I don't just put my machine on one setting and go digging in the day. I use my machine. I jump between settings um, and I let the machine tell me what it is that I'm listening to. I don't always rely on the target, target IDs. You need to rely on the sound. Um, so, yeah, man, guys, look, I hope, uh, I hope these little tips um, will help you. Try it out. Um, I hope you understand why I say listen to iron don't just mute it out completely i know that in in the beginning it seems like a really good function that these guys did um but uh yeah uh, i can bet you 100 percent you've still been digging some iron targets some sheet um some nails some wire and uh hopefully this showed you how to avoid that going forward so if you like this video guys please thumbs up and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video take it easy